every INI CET ranker had one thing in common. They knew exactly which microbes would show up before the exam did. The question is, will you? Because here's the truth. INI CET will not test your knowledge of every microbe. They will only test the ones which matters and if you can remember them when it counts. Hi, I'm Dr. Sahil Ingra from Team Meritors. I was all India rank one in November INI CET 2021. Today in this video, I will be discussing the high yield and most important topics for microbiology for the upcoming INI CET examination. Let's start. First thing is to know the syllabus. In micro, there are broadly five chapters. First is the general microbiology, then the bacteriology, followed by virology, mycology and parasitology and your extra cover. Now in these five chapters, I will be telling you which which of the following topics are the most important for your INICET among each chapter. With this, we come to the step two study what matters. So you do not have to cover the entire syllabus, only the specific topics which I will be telling you, which are the ones most important for your INICET. Now when it comes to the general microbiology, in the general micro, there are two aspects. First is your general aspects. And the second part is your immunology. So it is divided into two parts, the general microbiology as well as the immunology. In the general aspects, the most important topics are your sterilization and disinfection. Followed by your culture medias. So the different culture medias for the aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Then the microscopy techniques. Most of the times in AIMS they will ask you a question of micro on this topic. They will ask you about phase contrast microscopy or the dark field microscopy, something like that. So these are the only important topics when it comes to your general aspects. The immunology part is very, very important and it can be clubbed with your pathology also. So you do not have to study it entirely in micro. Now when it comes to your micro, what are the most important immunological topics for micro? Most important is your the hypersensitivity reactions. All the five types. This is the micro specific part of your. Of your immunology. Followed by the hypersensitivity, you have the antigen antibody reactions, the precipitation and agglutination reactions and all. These will come under microbiology. When it comes to pathology, you have to mainly study the inflammatory mediators there, the chemotactins, then what are the selectins, integrins, the interleukins. These are the parts which will come in pathology. And in micro, mainly you have to focus on hypersensitivity reactions, all the five types, the antigen antibody reactions, then vaccines and their schedules. So they will ask you about the tetanus vaccine or the MMR vaccine. So you need to know hepatitis when what are the doses and at what months they are given. They will ask you these type of questions in micro when it comes to the immunological aspect. Other than this, they will ask you basics like immunoglobulins. So you need to know the five types of immunoglobulins, your IgA, IgD, IgE, IgG and IgM. So for this, you need to know each and everything. You need to know their from starting from their molecular weight to what is a secretory IgA, for example, where where all they are found in what all organs, with what all sources we find these Igs. Then after this is your systematic bacteriology. The systemic bacteriology is your most vast topic of micro and this is one topic where most of the students. Will feel that OK, this is too long. We should leave it and ideally for your INICET, it is not a bad choice even if you decide to skip this topic. The reason being in INICET, what will happen is your micro will have mostly six to seven questions. This is also the maximum. Very few exams it has happened and 10 or 12 questions have come from micro. Even if you see six or seven questions are coming out of this around three to four will be from your. General aspects when I say general. 
so general plus the immunology this will have at least three to four questions out of these seven almost half of the syllabus will be covered in your first two chapters so this is a very important chapter for micro the general microbiology because it will cover almost 40 to 50 percent of your syllabus what will happen in bacteriology is let's say we are having seven questions so around two questions one or maximum two questions will be there from your systemic bacteriology now in this there are a lot of things around 15 20 bacteria you have to study in detail which is not possible especially in the irised because if you give more than four to five days to your micro subject then you will lose out on the other core dental subjects and the other important medical subjects also so what you have to do is you have to divide disease wise this is a very important advice because when you divide disease wise for example you divide tb and leprosy now tb and leprosy are caused by your mycobacterium similarly if you see your diphtheria so diphtheria then you will know it is caused by corony bacterium from there you can derive that suppose they ask you they give you a image based question and they tell you about a pseudomembranous rash is there and then you have to derive that okay it is a diphtheria and they will ask you which of the following stains is used for diphtheria so from that you will say that okay diphtheria for any bacterium we use albert staining so what happens is at times they will ask you very simple questions from the bacteria the goal is you need to know the simple basics so if you study disease wise so you will know okay this disease is caused by this bacteria and what are the features you just need to know in short about that bacteria which is aerobic which is anaerobic like for example if they will ask you which of these is a gram positive anaerobic bacteria so you will have to mark something like a clostridium now if we read just like this clostridium we will not know what happens but if you read disease wise so you will know okay gas gangrene is caused by clostridium similarly botulism is also caused by clostridium so the clostridium perfringens will cause gas gangrene so that is how you have to club and study and back for the bacteria do not go for coverage everything in detail for each bacteria because it will only waste your time you will hardly get two questions from this topic in your final exam and at times if micro is asked for less also three sometimes only three four questions will be asked so hardly one question will be there from your systemic bacteriology on the other hand if you spend three days here you might lose a day in let's say ortho or let's say oral surgery which will hamper your score by at least three to four marks. After this is another very important topic. Now why important is virology. In virology, the advantage is you only have to study selected three to four viruses. Most important question for AIMS in this is the classification of viruses. The, there are two classifications for viruses. Both are important. The most important is your nucleic acid one. So they will ask you which of the virus is a single standard RNA or which has a single standard DNA. Similarly, the about the double standard. So there are four. There are, will be four columns in this. You have to read all the four. You need to know the examples for all the four varieties. The SSRNA, DSRNA, SSDNA and the DSDNA. So they will mostly ask you which of the following is an odd one out. So they will give you four options and they will tell you which of the following has a double standard RNA. So three would be having a single standard RNA or a DNA and the only one would be having a double standard RNA. So that is how you have to rule out for this. You need to know the examples for all the four types and the next classification for viruses is based on the class. So which of the following is let's say a adenovirus or which of the following belongs to picorna viruses. This classification is not as important as the first one, but ideally you should try to do both the classifications because in viruses there is a high chance that if they are, they are asking you seven questions from micro, one will be from viruses. So if you see, we already discussed that around three to four will be from the general aspects, including the immunology and one will be from viruses. So out of seven, almost four to five questions you would have already covered despite even, even without doing or touching the systematic bacteriology part. Then next is the mycology and 
yes, in viruses, you have to read a few viruses in detail. The herpes virus, HIV or AIDS, and the hepatitis virus. And now after 2020, they are asking from another virus, which is your COVID coronavirus, which was responsible for your COVID-19. So these four viruses are more than enough. Other than this, they are asking a few questions sometimes from rabies virus and all, but those are like bouncer questions. And even if you see the past repeats, you will find questions about those. Next is mycology. In mycology, most important is your candida. Again, here they will ask you from classification also. Then you have mucormycosis and you have aspergillus. These three are the most frequently asked. Other than this, they will ask you one classification. The four classes are there, ascomycetes, zygomycetes, basidiomycetes, etc. So they will ask you which of the following is a basidiomycetes and they will give you four options. So only these things you need to know from myco. Then the parasites. In the parasites, only three things are important. One is your entamoeba histolytica. Then the malarial parasite. For these two, you should read in detail and knowing the life cycle also. So most of the times they will ask you the stages, trophozoid, sporozoid. So you need to know the life cycles. And there is one more called trypanosoma. The trypanosoma will cause sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness. Now in this, what they will ask mostly is, they will ask you which of the following organism causes American sleeping sickness or which of the following causes African sleeping sickness. So different species of the trypanosoma will cause American and African. So you need to know the names of these two. Not much in detail for trypanosoma. Only detailed one you have to read is endamoeba and malaria. Then the extra cover. In the extra cover for micro, we have around 100 questions and most of them are the repeats from previous year papers. So the extra cover becomes very important. For example, you want to skip systemic bacteriology. You are saying that you do not have time and I will skip the systemic part and I will cover the most important part that is your virology, immunology and the general aspects. Followed by if you have a lot of time, then you can do myco and parasites. Otherwise, if you see mycology, parasitology, there are times no question will be asked from them or maximum they can ask from both combined. They can ask one or two questions. So better is when you do the repeats, the extra cover in that you will cover those aspects which are frequently asked. For example, there would be a question on diphtheria or on Albert Stenny or typhoid, which are routinely asked in your INICTs. So from there, what will happen is you will be able to cover those topics also, which are routinely asked, but without going into depth within the chapters. This will save your time for the other most important dental chapter, the dental subjects and the other medical subjects like NIAT and Pharmac, which are more asked in the INICET. Now, next is step three, the past year paper. Now for the medical subjects, what I recommend is that don't do 10 years, even last five years is enough. Why? Because when you do the last five years, every year twice AIMS exam happens. So you will have at least 10 papers for the dental. If you do 10 years, you will have 20 papers. Why it is important is because in the medical, they will mostly ask the basic concepts only. They will not go much into detail other than one or two questions. Every subject they will ask because nobody wants you to score 100%. The goal is that you have to score those four to five basic questions and May, do not over attempt. You have to leave the ones which you do not know at all, especially in a factual subject like micro. Next is the special questions. Again, same in image based and special question set. You have two tasks in microbiology in the INICET power pack. One is for the image based and other is for the special questions set. And in this you will be covered covering the previous articles, the recent articles in your special questions. And most important is your medical repeats. 
what happens in November exam is few of the questions are same on the MD paper also and the MDS paper also. So those particular questions you would be covering in the special question set and the image based questions which are direct medical repeats. Last is practice and revision. Now it is again very, very important, especially for a factual subject like micro. At least two to three revisions must be given. Now how to score above average in micro? Micro is a very difficult subject for most of the aspirants because you have to memorize a lot of things. A lot of bacteria are there. You need to know the names of those bacteria, then what disease they are causing, what are the important features of those bacteria. It is very difficult to memorize all such things. So what you have to do is avoid silly mistakes. How you will avoid silly mistakes? You start from your general aspects, then cover the virology part, then do the most important extra cover questions for the systematic part. And if you do not have time, do not spend more time on this. Rather than giving three days on systemic bacteria, you can give three days on ortho or prostho or endo. That will fetch you much more marks. That can fetch you around four to five questions from those topics which you have studied in that day. But if you read micro for three days and only two questions, it is not very productive. Next is do not over attempt the difficult ones. So let's say they ask you from too much detail about a bacteria. Let's say about a mycobacterium, they ask some strain you have not even heard of. Then in that case, do not over attempt. And what if what what will happen is if you leave it and the other person attempts it, they, they will mostly get it wrong. So they will get minus 0.3 and you will be staying at zero only. So you will be at an advantage. The negative that is what negative marking is the key in micro. So you should know what to attempt, what to leave when it comes to micro. Like for example, in the oral surgery video, I told you goal is to attempt 100%. But in micro, it is highly advisable not to over attempt, especially for the very, very difficult questions. So to recap. We have five topics. What you have to do? Cover the general part first. In this you will have general plus immunology. Once you have done this, this is almost your 40% of your micro syllabus, what they will be asking. In the exam out of those 40, suppose they ask 10 questions from micro around four to five questions will be from this general part only because this is a very broad aspect. It will cover your st from st sterilization, immunity, hypersensitivity, everything. Next is your bacteriology. This you can skip for now. So here you have to do only. Previous year papers. Only the previous questions you have to do. Then virology. Virology you have to do the classification. Plus three to four important. Viruses which I have told you. That is your hepatitis herpes virus and your HIV along with the coronavirus. Those are the commonly asked questions from those parts which you will get in the repeats. Then you go to the extra cover. So once you cover these four topics, if you have time. Then only you go for. Your micro and your parasitology. So chapter one, three and five first cover these only when you have time you go for. Two. And four. The goal in micro is to get around 60 to 70 percent correct and to not over attempt. So let's say you get 70 percent correct and you do not attempt anything else. So you have that 70 percent in the bank. But if you attempt two, three extra questions in the greed that OK, I might get one or two correct. Chances are more in micro that you will end up getting all the three wrong. So four correct three wrong again. Your score will go from 70 percent to like 55 percent or 60 percent. So that 10 percent will be the difference between your rank and the toppers rank. That is why it is wise to know what to attempt and what to leave when it comes to a subject like microbiology. With this, we come to the end of the video. If you like the content, do subscribe us on YouTube and follow us on our Instagram channel. And if you have not yet downloaded the Meritus app, uh, you can download it from the App Store or the Play Store. Thank you and all the best for your exams.